Welcome everyone to another Fox Tech tutorial. This time we talk about the iPhone and iPhone Safari because some people could have noticed that whenever they are browsing some kind of website that it's kind of zoomed out or the page is kind of like too far away for whatever reason and there are of course multiple ways how to fix it depending on the problem that you have but I'm gonna show you all of them so let's just get started with this. The very first option is the page zoom, which is right inside the Safari settings. So if you just go in here, you can tap on more options like inside of the website. You have some um, like desktop options. You can just zoom it in, in here if you want. So if it looks like this, chances are that you have it probably zoomed out a bit more. But all you have to do is go to the settings, find the Safari section, scroll down a bit more and you can see the page zoom option is right here. So if you tap on page zoom, you can see that there are some options. The smallest one is 50%, the largest is 300%. And if you come back, it changes depending on which uh, website you go to. So if I go to apple.com, it should be zoomed in entirely. You can see it's just huge. It doesn't look good at all. So yeah, you should always keep it at 100%, which is like the default option, and you can always just switch it to something lower or higher. So if your iPhone is zoomed out in Safari, chances are that you are switched to 50, 75, or some kind of, of some of these lower percentages, and your iPhone happens to be or look kind of zoomed out. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. But as you could notice, we can also do it right from the Safari, as I touched on in the beginning. So if you tap on the double A, you can just switch it up like this and you can always just change it individually for specific websites. But keep in mind that this only changes it for, for example, Google. So if I come back to the settings, you can see that Google is set to 100%. And you can also decide that, for example, the default for every single website is going to be 100% or 115, but this specific one is going to stay at 100% at all times. So let me just, for example, get a new page. Let's go to Bing, for example, and let me just click on the double A and choose it to be 150%. Let's say that I want to keep it this way. When I come back to Safari, you can see that I have another website which has a standard. So Bing.com is going to be at 150%, Google is going to stay at 100 and other websites are going to be at 115. So the options are there. You can always just uh, change it up, switch it up as much as you want. So yeah, you can clear all the settings if you want and everything's going to stay as the default. However, these, uh, this may not be the only option or the only issue which you may have because you can also just choose the view entirely for every single iPhone, which is going to cause some problems inside of Safari as well. So in the settings, if you, for example, go to the display and brightness, you can see that you can also just choose the text size and you can make it smaller and larger. So in case you're browsing some kind of website in a Safari and you have the text smaller, chances are that you can also just fix the problem inside this section, not even inside Safari. So for example, that could be the issue. The next one is the display zoom because if you have the default and would like to get the larger one, you can switch to the larger text, which is going to include Safari as well. So everything is going to be slightly zoomed in. Now, it may be the case that you are in the default and want to switch to a larger view. It's up to you. But these are the main things to keep in mind. This is exactly how you can fix Safari when it's zoomed in and zoomed out, whatever happens to it. So I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Fox Tech so you don't miss the next videos where you find out everything about your iPhone and everything just is useful on it. So make sure to master your devices as much as possible. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.